Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It is your Black Knight. And I was trying to think what to do for Thanksgiving and, I don't know, racing in brown cars for, like, turkey, kind of. That didn't, didn't seem to work. You may see something kind of like that tomorrow, but it'll be a different day, so it'll, it'll make more sense. But at any rate, what we're going to do is just something a little bit more mild. Because if we go here... Where is that car? There is a sale. There's a sale on the Greenwood. And that's a pretty significant sale. And we're gonna... We're gonna buy it. With the potential for a missile lock-on jammer, remote control units, slick mines, and armor plating. The Bravado Greenwood bring, brings you old-school taste, old-school muscle, old-school diplomacy, and new-school know-how. So the next time someone asks why you keep buying the same bucket-ass car... You'll be able to fire back with more than a one-liner. Bucket, you have bucket. Buckle your seatbelt, please. I'm going to put it here so we can potentially amani it up. I'm not sure what the build is going to be on this, though. Because, I mean, clearly they're making a Men in Black reference here with the black car, with all the tech. But it, it just doesn't sing to me for a couple of reasons. First of all, the Men in Black car, much faster. I mean, it was just lightning fast, alien technology, and it was a Ford. Very pointedly a Ford, and this is a Dodge. That's what's how you translate from GTA speak to uh, to this kind of thing. So we're, we're, what do I want to do with it? We're going to have to look at what our options are. I have a feeling... That there's a there's I, I think there's some stock car options we could do to it. I mean the armor is useful because you take a lot of missiles, but am I ever gonna drive it in a public session? Probably not. Not looking that way. I mean I guess if you were to take it into a GTA race and it could take tank a bunch of missiles, that would be useful. Potentially. But I don't know if it works that way. I don't know if in a GTA race, one missile wouldn't be one kill no matter what. No matter what you've got on you. It, it depends. It depends on how they have it coded. You know, it's kind of like... It's kind of like all the weapons in TF2. You know, it's like... They, uh, they all do a certain amount of damage, except the, the backstab of the knife. That just is an instant kill no matter what's going on. For the most part. Although there are situations, even in that game, where that's not the same thing either. Should we do the time warp again? Like, is it just taking a long time to get this car? Or is, am I just tired? It's, I'm recording this late at night. What the heck time is it? Like 20 to 11 on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. So here we go. So it's a big old Dodge, not a big old Ford. I mean, big old square cars, I guess, don't really matter. Armor. See, we could do... Well, those are regular armor upgrades here. That's like the standard armor. Armor plating. Armor plating changes the look on him, this, and I don't know that I want that yet. Body trim, rear cage. What the heck is a rear cage? Oh, there's other. Oh, if you look deep inside there, there is a uh, roll bar, full cage. Side trim, delete. What do we got as far as liveries? White stripes, so we can make it a skunk car. I mean, there's something to be said. Well, here comes the skunk. Look at the default white walls. That's, that's an interesting thing. White rear stripe. That's very Dodge. Very Dodge. Classic side stripe, which must be in black. You can, Oh, you can see it there. Yeah, that's a very Dodge thing, too, if you look closely. Pinstripes. Let's, 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 let's paint this something Dodge first. Might be might be temporary. Well, let's give it a let's 
If we're going to go and hot rod this, you got one of three colors to work with for a Dodge. Orange is one of them. Might do might do a Rusty Jack one in orange. We'll have to see. I haven't given him an orange car in a while. Your next uh, answer is in the dew yellow and lime green range. And then, of course, the purples. I think this is, for what I'm looking at with the stripes, let's go lime green for right now. We'll not worry about the rest of that for the time being. Livery. So the white stripes, white stripe there. So there you go, classic side stripe. That's a good look. With the blackout hood, that's a very muscle car kind of thing. Pinstripes. Nice. Very, it's a, more of a low rider kind of thing. Invincible. Eh. Classic full stripes. Okay, that's more of a two-tone kind of deal there. I can I can dig it. This would lend itself. And we changed it to a brown. Which is an option. Don't think that's not an option. Bravado. Very nice and yet less, you know, I don't know if this is a, if that's a classic Dodge. It must be a classic Dodge stripe of some nature. Stickered up. Corkers. Ooh, there you go. If you're going to go with a NASCAR build, there you go. Haze. There's a true lowrider kind of stance there. Wow. What kind of build do I want? It comes down to between the classic stripe, I think, and making this like a beechwood brown car. More of a, maybe a Kojak kind of deal here, but you know. Go oh, ahead, if you take all the stripes off and then do a brown, I think you might be close to that. I forget what car he drove. Would be pretty close. Let, let's back off here for one moment. Louvers. Painted louvers are black. The louvers from the 70s are almost always black. I guess you can get them painted. The painted ones look good, but if you're doing this kind of look, mirrors, missile mirrors, secondary missile mirrors. No primary missile mirrors. Oh well. Let's go with that. Roof. So you can paint it with the secondary or go vinyl. Ooh. The vinyl has potential. Trim color vinyl roof. There you go. Oh, that's nice. Now, of course, this allows you to adjust the color of the vinyl. We can make this a really, really 70s kind of thing here. Let's let's go back with the spoiler. Painted antenna. I think that's the, you know. I think the stock car build we're going to do right after this. So painted antenna there. Suspension will... Should we slam it? It doesn't, it doesn't slam it that bad. Transmission, rev it up. Turbo, of course. Wheels we're going to leave as they are, but we're going to give them bulletproofness. Although we'd be down. Maybe we, we'll, we'll see where we're at. White smoke. And back around the top. Armor plating. That really does look like hell. We're not doing that. We're leaving the body trim. As it is. Bumpers. Okay, front bumpers. Bumper delete. See if you want to go with those other builds. Painted bumper. Craziness. We're you know similar things in the back. I'm having an image now. Headlight covers.
Uh, money tech. We'll throw the jammer on it. Because why wouldn't you? Lights, headlights will leave stock. Neon kits, you kind of need one. Front backsides, that'll be its only. So, you know, it's, it's a performance thing. Give it a little lower center grav. Livery is gonna be the full the the, the uh, full white stripes. Classic full stripes. I think. Or not. Let's let's just get brown first. Or gold. I think maybe gold. Primary color. Metallic. I think there's a lot of good options here. I mean, the gla the gasoline green works. But you get into like this, like the chocolate brown, maple brown, beechwood browns. But let's look at gold. Where's the gold? That gold looks a little bit more tan to me. You know, it's not really bronze. No, it's. Let's go to metals. See that's more of what I'm thinking of here. Pure gold. And then we go with the secondary color though, and then we go to classic. Where's a cream color? Bleached brown. That works. Not perfect. And then trim color. What's the, what's the effect? What is it affecting? Nothing I can tell. There's something wrong here. I guess we'll leave it alone because it's not doing anything. Okay. Let us... I think we, we do need to do something with the wheels. Just to go with this gold, we're going to go wheel type. You know, this might lend itself to some Benny's wheels. Some of the Benny's bespoke. Can we check that out? Can we drive it down to the Benny's? Just for the wheels. I'll give us some time to think about it. Not too far, drive. This this feels seventies. Eh, to some extent, eighties. I haven't done a lot of brown cars. I've had a couple, but I mean, this kind of gold. I do do. I do have some gold cars. But this with the with the light brown, the, the, the light brown top. We could consider it with a black one. But Did you forget about? Yeah, forget about you. Totally forget about you, Simeon. The black top would work too. What's that? We can't throw some bespokes out. Oh, fine. Back from whence we came. I thought you could still modify stuff. What's the fastest way back? Fine, you're just gonna have to get some regular low rider wheels and want to paint them the right. Then you should be proud to work on this puppy. Loaded up with the money tech. But not not the plating. This is just gonna. It's just gonna be a cool machine.
Is this a useful card? No. Not even. It's not, not even a touch. No. So I like the top better inside here than I did outside. It looked a little bit off outside. So first things first. There's an actual cream top. No, cream vinyl. White vinyl, though. I mean, maybe white vinyl is really what I'm looking for. Some ice white to go with the white walls. I think I think that's it. And then let's hit over. Is the trim color going to work at all? Should I set that to, like, to ice white just to match and... Heavens to Murgatroyd, don't know what's why it's not working, but wheels. Wheel type low rider, because we want to keep the white walls. Stock rims, we could give them a color. Maybe the dollars. None of these are calling. See, do any of the chrome rims have gold in them? No. Triple gold. Let's go wired. And wheel color gold. There's gold. Bronze. Bronze pretty well matches up. Okay, we're going to have to just do this. Tires, tire design, customs. Does that work? Eh! Man, it's not calling through. You know what? I, I hate to be someone who kind of goes with their own little trope of always you doing the same dang thing. But man, does that not look good? Just a set of mercenaries. It's a dodge. Give it some General Lee wheels. Like you souped up the family uh, sedan kind of thing. And they're bulletproof. Uh, let's see. Tire design. Do we want stock tires? Stock tires might look better. A little bit more subtle. Let's take a look at this outside. This is, in my mind, the family sedan. It's the, oh, look at this. And they get, you can turn on the second lights. Or the high beams here. Not even a little bit. Come on, pull yourself together. I'm totally digging this. It's just an understated show car kind of thing, and I just really do like it. Let's, let's get the scratches fixed here. Okay, do we want to do a wild stock car dodge build? All right, let's switch character. Okay, so here we are in the garage again. That's where it's going to go here. Is it going to go there? Is it going to go here? Is it going to go there? I can I wait the whole time here? I've decided to keep both of them for the time being. Each has a different gun. This one does more damage. This one is better for those racing around and shooting the targets kind of things because you don't need to 
damage the target, you just need to hit it. So if you have a higher rate of fire, it's a good thing. And look at this. Here we go. So let's stock car this baby up. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the armor plate. We're going to we're going to look at that side trim delete for right now. Actually, we go with full cage. So we can so we can either have a roll cage or get rid of the trim. How does that make any sense? Well, I think I think the cage kind of speaks to we need a cage, don't you think? For this build, front bumpers, bumper delete, small splitter, large splitter, large splitter, that that, that large spitter, large splitter is more of a wild track car. I'm trying to go with more of a NASCAR build. Painted rear bumper. Love, hey, 69 WPN 602. There you go. We'll paint the rear bumper. Oh, we didn't look at the air filters at all on the other one, did we? I think we might have skipped the engine tune on the last one, too. We'll have to look at that. Ooh, small flycatcher. NASCAR build, we're just gonna. Actually, let's leave it stock. Exhaust. We did miss a whole bunch of stuff on there. We left the stock exhaust. Side exits would be better for... Ooh, painted side exits, chrome side exits. Those are nice. We're just going to go with the, the, the regular side exit here. Headlight covers... Yeah, we'll stick with the primaries here. Or should we go secondaries? Yeah, it won't matter until we use some things. Lights, neon kit, neon layout. Yeah, we'll come to a color later. Livery. Not the green bling, although it does look interesting against the blue. This is the one I'm going to go with. The limited gasoline. We'll give it that orange. But what do we want as far as the main color? But it does look good with the blue. Louvers. NASCAR is not going to have them. Mirrors. Let's go retro mirrors. Plate we leave alone. I forgot you could put a proximity mine on this. There's a little cheat for you. We have. We really have to go back and. Touch that up. Okay, black. Ooh. Now, I hadn't even considered black as an option. Mostly because I'm not a Bengals fan, but, you know. I'm open-minded here, guys. Wine red. That doesn't really... Yeah, orange on orange. Definitely, you know, it's a bit much. Bronze, you can almost see that working, but the green's a nice contrast. But you know, they always said that uh, green race car is unlucky, so that's just a, a, a shinier version of the blue we had before. Mariner, now you can do there is, there is one option here, we could go completely. Uh, Golf colors on this. Gonna go Ron Raceway. Here any, but it's it's it's, L, it's LTD gasoline. So nautical blue. Skip past the browns. Purple. Shaft of purple. Spinnaker and Midnight. Bright purple. It does go well. Purple always goes well with orange. 
Then you get your lime green, which is locked. Six and a half hours later. Kind of down between ice white, which I mean that's that creamsicle kind of look does look good. And just racing blue. They both look good. I feel like all my cars look like this. Like there's some mix of these on this character. So I'm gonna skew the racing blue. Just to do some cream is another interesting thing. That kind of sets off to 26 a little bit better. Not necessarily a NASCAR build though. If you're gonna do NASCAR, which one do you think it'd be? The cream? This looks like someone stickered up the family car, although, you know, it's got more body work on it. The numbers look a little bit better. This looks like, you know, something you see. Frost white! A slightly less bright white than the, the 26. 26 looks, it makes it look a little bit more warm. Yeah, we're doing a true cream sickle. I don't know why, but it's just calling to me. The way it looks with the numbers, the blue, it may be blue someday. No, we're not doing that. Okay, we do have to go to secondary color now. And secondary, actually, for secondary, let's do this orange. Match the uh, bright orange. There you go. Secondary bright orange, which affects like one thing. And uh, trim color. Oh, is that what that affects? There, we got that going for us. All right. Now we finally see what the trim does. Where's the orange? Oh, well, we could do that racing blue. Blue trim on the inside. And with the little blue stripe there. Not too much orange. I ain't bad. Roof. Sorry, secondary painted roof. Now that's not bad. I also ain't great. Let's, let's stick with that. Not going to vinyl spoiler. Now we want an actual spoiler. Lip spoiler. Small lip spoiler. Large lip spoiler. See that doesn't look that doesn't look right to me somehow. It's that looks more NASCAR. You can look at all the other ones. Here to put this out on the track, that's what you know the adjustable spoiler. Slam the suspension and do the transmission up turbo wheels, wheel type. Um, let's see. Stock rims. Don't where are yeah, something along those lines. That's a NASCAR, the revolvers. And then we're going to do just, yeah, straight up orange. There you go. Tires. Design, absolutely. Bulletproof, I'm sure. Good enough for jazz. Windows. Boy, light smoke looks really dark there, but everything gets light smoke, so. I think we've completely. How would how does this look with armor plating? It doesn't actually look that bad.
you know, it, it does let tank a few more extra missiles, but I still can't believe we can't have a cage and body trim out, you know. Say none, side trim delete. That looks so much better, but you lose the cage. Now it becomes just a show car. Looks way better, but... Somewhere on the line I'll end up having to put the armor plating on it, but for right now. Let's take it out. It's not maneuverable, it's not real fast. Yes, I've completely ignored you and forgotten about you. And that was interesting. At least he spun out from the heat whale over there. I have to do some oil slick on the other one, too. It's effective. So this is now a car we can have fun with. Why did they do that when you can't have a deleted trim and a cage? Why isn't there an interior option? Boy, that is bugging me. Oh well, we'll have to live with it. Yeah, I'll go back and well, we're gonna go back and do some other things now. Which one of these? This has got the the lip spoiler on it. That could be problematic. Let's switch back over to the other character for a moment here. Yeah, I've carefully gone over everything here, and wow, that looks really cheesy. That that exhaust looks terrible. Looks fine from to the top, but you know. It looks like a rusted exhaust with chrome tips. No, 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 get back in the car. No, 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 we're not done. What the heck? Slanted longboard exhaust. You can't look at how this is gonna... Maybe from a little bit from there. And the stock exhaust... Oh, there, there you got your sides. Chrome side exhaust might be the best we could do here. And painted side exhaust. That really looks like it's just barely hanging on there. It's like it's like somehow the, this thing is getting bad exhaust work. Okay, let's try the double dual exhaust and then just see. Oh, looks outside. See, that doesn't that doesn't look terrible. It's not hanging down as far. I mean, that's that's for certain. All right, now we got to do a thing, and it's time for the Chiliad hop lap route here. 
This should come up in the in the rotation somewhere. There we go. Custom green. Okay, it was just reflecting that much. Wow. Confirm. I'm still not sure how relevant this is. I guess we should take take the opportunity. Why not, right? Give us a good look at this car. Huh, I wonder how relevant... Did the plate change? No, the other one had a different plate. How relevant is this particular hot lab? Especially since there's another, another apparently a new route discovered. Which I have not yet seen the route performed. Amazing that people still keep finding better ways to get around the map. But we're going to try and do the, the hot lap. That's weird. It's kind of late at night and there's just police zipping along here outside. God bless them. Hope everything is copacetic because it didn't sound like that. Obviously, this isn't the hard part, although this is a wide car. Whew. At least it feels wide through here. But this is this something that still appeals? I don't know. Trying to drive a car up a mountain. Especially when you have a car like this that really and truly shouldn't be driven up a mountain. Ooh, that was kind of cold, though. You, you wouldn't try this, you know, with your, your own big-bodied, full-size sedan. The kind of car that isn't even made anymore. If you want something that, you know, filled this role, now you're getting an SUV. There's no more huge trunks and big interiors. Like so. I am impressed though. This is doing rather well for itself. Wow, lost some momentum there. But it just goes. Look at this. All right, I'm impressed. I did, actually did not expect this to get up the hill. It must have enough power. Big, beefy kind of thing. We have had trouble with the front splitter. I'm not sure. Now, I'm sure you're asking yourself right now, Fuck Knight, what does any of this have to do with Thanksgiving? And the answer, well, nothing. I mean, what does any video game, unless you're... Oh dear, do we really stick this? <laughs> Okay, by, by Bruffy rules, this would be over. But, as you know, I don't play by Bruffy rules on my own game. We're just going to go... Up, oop. I could have reset it. Alright, that was awkward, but it was. I mean, really, what kind of video game has anything to do with holidays in general? I mean, you see how I stretch for these. I mean, wait till you see the Black Friday video. That's really just a complete and total stretch breaks game.
Well, here we are in an old-fashioned gold car from... Well, certainly would have worked for my youth, although we never really had one of these. We had similar cars, I and mean, we had some... We had a Torino and, a, and an old Ford Thunder, like a 77 Thunderbird that I learned to drive on. 78 Grand Prix. Weren't big in the Dodges for the most part, though. This probably isn't the right way down. Is it ever? But I mean, it's a, it's a family car. And it's, Thanksgiving is a family time. Look, I'm stretching, all right? The main thing, though, is that I do... Oh, it's a train! Woo! <coughs> no, I wasn't going to try and take the train on it. Like that. But the main thing is that I do wish you a happy Thanksgiving. I do ha hope you're having a wonderful time with Kith and Ken, as they would say in Christmas Vacation. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day, free of stress. Free of the stress and drama that is commonly attributed to Thanksgiving. As family members argue whether the, the pilgrims and the Indians got along really. I don't know. It's That's like a thing now. I mean, people are going on about that. Like, they've all been dead a few hundred years. It's... It's historical. It, that means you don't have to feel bad about it because it's historical. It had nothing to do with anything you did in your life. So let's just, you know move on and do the right thing now. That's all that really matters. Um, but hopefully you're not having bizarre political conversations. That was weird. And you're just having turkey. You know, just because in the end result you know, you can, you can talk about elections, you can talk about politics, you can talk about the large swaths of history that, you know, go on and is this right or is this wrong? But you gotta remember in the end result on a person-to-person -person basis where you're gonna have your biggest impact is with your family. Not fast enough for this? Okay. That's all. And if you want to change the world, you change it a little bit at a time with your family and your friends and you make you know your life good and you do the right thing with those people and you're kind you know you you uh, convincing Uncle Albert that you know it's time to switch political parties isn't gonna really do a whole lot right now you know, it may make you feel like it does but no, not really in the statistics of it all you know not going to be as big a deal as making sure that, you know, you don't stop talking to Uncle Albert and never seeing him again. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a thing. We're so sorry, Uncle Albert. Okay, that's very British and not where we're going with this, but still. It's only by maintaining those relationships that you can have any kind of impact in in the arguments of things anyway. So you, you've got to do all that. So that's about as thanksgiving as I can make it. I also hope you're enjoying turkey or whatever you enjoy. Have a wonderful day. Appreciate the people that are around you most of all. Be thankful for everything. Everything you have. Sometimes you have to be thankful for things that you don't have. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not at uh, some of the other jobs I've held in, in my time. I'm at this one, you know? 
thankful for the people around me, thankful for, you know, having a warm place to be. I'm thankful for this gold fake car. You know, just be thankful for everything. Be thankful for whatever device you're watching this on. Just, you know, be thankful. I, I don't know that I could flog this any harder and make a bigger point of it. Or I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. It's late. It's, we're pushing midnight here and I have editing to do. So, you see, you see the things I go through to make sure that you have videos for your holidays. <laughs> on, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm thankful that you're watching, by the way. Let me, I'll, I'll finish it with that. Thank you for watching my videos. I am thankful. And on that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.